Jesus Christ is worthy of all or he's not worthy at all. That's the simplicity of what we claim as Christians. The question we're faced with is, do you really believe it? It keeps me awake at night as I pray through the the membership of this church and I think if this persecution came here in Stewart, Florida, who would stand? Who would count Christ as worthy that sits in here week after week? that sings into his name and and does the things that they're comfortable with. But who would stand in the face of this and who would not? It's a question that plagues me. A pastor of, of old, John R. Rice, said this many years ago. It says, the world never burned a casual Christian at the stake. And it's true. It's true, the world never burned a casual Christian at the stake. And so we're faced with, in this text, in Matthew 10, the mission parameters with the question, what is he really worth to you? What is he really worth to you? And is your life prepared for it if it comes? Maybe it won't. But if it does, what will you do? Or have you so shaped your life and your hope around this world that it would hinder you from serving him at any level, at any level. Would you face being scourged from your own for him? Is he worth that to you? Would you face being mocked by the elite and powerful in leadership for him? Is he worth that for you? Would you face division, and betrayal by family and loved ones for him. Is that too much? Did we just cross the line? Did he go to a place where he says, this is too much? Because I want you to understand something. That's how much he loved you. That's what we believe. That's what we sing about. That Jesus Christ, the perfect son of God, who deserved nothing because he was sinless, yet took everything that we deserve, he was betrayed. He was hated. He was scourged. He was beaten. He was mocked. He was killed in an excruciating fashion. And that doesn't even begin to encompass what he bore upon the cross for us.